Okay, I wanted to show you guys a little idea I came up with for the uh, Zeta Science FX79 Buffalo for these these wing outlets right here that they come up with for these extra compartments, which I really like. Um, a lot better than I liked on the X8. Anyway, this is what I did. Right along the seam line right there, because there's a bevel right here that matches these where they sit down on there. What I did is I just took a razor knife and I just, real sharp razor knife, and I just cut two scores right inside. Same thing on this back side, or should I say the front side right here. Uh, and this is this is the particular one where I've got my video transmitter sitting. And I did the same thing on the actual panel. Kind of get it in here where you guys can see it. And I just took a, a little piece of ABS plastic from your local hobby shop there. Just cut a, a strip and scored right along where you see the mold line difference there. And I glued it in. Let it stick out there. Mine sticks out here about a quarter of an inch. Okay, you can adjust whatever size you want there. I figured that was enough. And thin, you know, like one thirty second plastic. Just about anything will work there, but anyway, then I can just line it up here when I'm putting it on. Oops, missed the side there. Slip it in. That way it kind of helps line it up like it originally sitting on there. This way I don't have to glue this to the hatch lid. Okay or do magnets or screws or anything like that in there. It's just all plastic and it doesn't really inhibit any of the video transmitter even though the antennas, I put the antenna way out here. Actually, uh, I'll go back to that real quick and add, add to that. I actually ran a cable. This one's a little longer than it needs to be. I got it coiled up and stowed right there. But anyway, I ran a cable to my transmitter out here. I just took a carbon fiber rod, sharpened it, and made a hole right there of course I had to make a slit right here behind where the plastic wing piece goes on here and then I just use some of that uh, contact that cement that they that it comes with most kits come with and I glued an angle bracket in here and let's see if we can get this up here where it can, you can see it and it just comes up through the top there and mounts to my then my antenna mounts to it I'll back out here a little bit that way my antenna's poked out here a little further on the wing instead of coming up right here. And I didn't have to modify the hatch by making a hole in it right here for the antenna to poke up through. Though there's really nothing wrong with that at all. It's just my personal preference. But that way I can slip these guys on. And I did it for both sides. I got the receiver, radio receiver, sitting over here with the GPS compass. Or should I say the autopilot GPS compass sitting right here just sitting on velcro and the receivers mounted this mounted the same way That way I can reposition them if I have any problems. I may end up moving this GPS out here. I'm using the my fly dream Autopilot right now. They're their newest one. I may end up mounting it outside later where it's actually exposed even though right now I haven't flown the plane yet but at least initial test show that it really doesn't inhibit it being that close to the satellite on my spectrum receiver which is the actual spectrum receivers right here and then there's this I put the satellite right there but I may kind of spread those two components out a little further to get better coverage I don't plan on it actually getting too far it was just easy and convenient and then of course I'm using a ready-made three cell 8,000 milliamp battery which helps balance this perfect I haven't glued this quite on yet. I'm still working on my camera setup. I currently have a 700 TVL mounted in the nose, and I'm probably planning on putting a GoPro right here with an optional mount that I can mount a uh, uh, Mobius that I've got that'll sit on here. That way it's nice, clean. It'll be a fixed mount. I'm not going to do pan and tilt on it quite at the moment. But that was my idea for the winglet hatches if you want to call it the two side wing hatches here and it stays on and then the individual hatch and they are 
solid. You can actually pick up the airplane from them so there's no chance of them coming off. And they're pretty easy to get in and out and sit up there really tight. But that way is to avoid magnets, more metal pieces. And just a real simple, it took me about three minutes to do that. And just razor knife, some plastic, kind of smooth it off, rounded the edges of it a little bit here. And like I said, that is just a slot cut with an X-Acto knife. Piece of plastic, I C8 it in here, same thing. I just cut, and I use the, the line, the mold line as a guide. So that when it goes back in, it'll actually see, it won't be off or off center or anything. And it's fairly easy. If I had made these a little wider, then when I actually stick them in here, they would line up and I would just push it. But you'd have to make your cut out here a little deeper, so. I just picked about a quarter of an inch, half inch, oops, quarter of inch and half inch as a good rough measurement. And it sits down nice and flush without having to be glued and it's removable. Individually removable without affecting the hatch. So, and I also took the zither zip ties off right here and I just put a string on it with knots on both ends so that I can reach up and grab it here to take the hatch off. My current setup right here, like I said, 8,000 milliamp, three cell. This is all stock. I do have the servos in here set for flaps and air brakes. The stock motor, stock ESC. I am using a um, voltage step down, step up unit that I can control. It's adjustable. You can get these on eBay. They're about nine bucks, seven dollars. And I've got leads poked out of them. Got one power and I got a Castle BEC here. I've got a secondary BEC that's not plugged into anything. That's a noise filter. Uh, Ready made RC noise filter right there. Had to put a reverse unit for one of the flaps. I'm using a simple turn G reverser. The flaps plug in right here. And of course the MyFly Dream. Nice and convenient. Sitting on their mount. And pretty much ready to go. Anyway. Hope you guys liked that. That's just my idea and I wanted to share it with you guys. And Seemed like a nice way to do the winglets instead of actually attaching them to the hatch unit here and making them separate, but yet nice and firm to stay on where they wouldn't blow off and you didn't have to go through and line up magnets, like four magnets, or put screws in and you don't have to cut this. And like I said, and I'm using a 2000 milliwatt transmitter. I'm going to try from Boss Can there. I've got several, but I want to try this one. And I just, like I said, I bored a hole right from there to there and... Just ran a coax cable and put my antenna out here on the wing. That way it just stays as a nice tight unit and I can change it out to whatever antennas. And This way this guy is not screaming so close to everything there, especially since I'm, I've got a pretty heavy duty 2000 watt transmitter, which is way overkill for more than I need, but I wanted to play around with it. I normally would use, I normally use like the Boss Cam 500, mil, 500 milliwatt or 400 milliwatts, plenty for what I ever, what I need to do, but there's the initial on mine. I haven't glued this on yet because I haven't decided whether I want to paint this yet or not. Somebody else on the group's actually painted this black and I really liked it, it looked really nice, uh, but I'm actually considering painting mine red. But uh, until I actually make that decision, I'm just leaving it unattached as it is. And until I make a final decision on my nose camera setup. So anyway, hope you guys like it. And I'll post this up on YouTube and fire it off to the thread.